Hey, hey everyone. Happy Monday and welcome back to Journal the Word in our book of notes. Today, I've just got one question for you. Do you have some napkins, some beautiful fancy napkins and some glue somewhere in your house? I bet you do. I just, I have a problem. Yes, I do. I love napkins. I love, 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 love napkins. And I seem to have a plethora of them. And this is just, this is just the tip of the iceberg, folks. I buy napkins when they are on sale. I buy them every time I see them. I buy them for seasonal things. I buy them just because there's something cute like a rooster on there. <laughs> I buy them when they've got anything that has to do with France and Paris and hydrangeas, mm -hmm. vegetables, more Paris, and ornaments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love all of these. So today I'm going to show you how to do a quick and simple background using a beautiful napkin and some glue. You can use Elmer's glue, you can use Mod Podge, you can use soft gel, gel mediums, you can use anything. And let me just, <laughs> this one is so uh, easy, so very easy. The hardest part is going to be me getting the napkins open, I think. So let me show you just a couple of tips and tricks for doing this. So one of the hardest parts other than getting the napkin open, Rebecca, is actually removing the backing. You want to um, take this white part off. You only want to use the part that has the design on it. So let me show you my little trick for that. Is just take a piece of tape, any kind of tape, and put it on there, and then pull it off, and look what happens. <laughs> That white backing starts coming off. And the better napkins have a couple of layers of this white. And, of course, don't throw that away. We can use that in the future. So let me get another piece of tape here. And, like I said, any kind of tape. You can use scotch tape, anything. Any tape will do. Whoops! That wasn't supposed to happen. I tore the whole darn thing off there. Boy, I, I had a little strong pull this morning. <laughs> I don't know my own strength. I think I can use that anyway, regardless of it being torn. That'll just give me some more texture, won't it? Okay. So let me get this stuff out of the way. And let me find a place that will work. That's going to work pretty well, I think. I love roosters. I love roosters ever since I was a teenager. And I went on a trip to France early. Um, it wasn't an exchange program. It was just a summer trip to France. And I bought this little red... Chalkware, I think it is rooster, and that has just started a lifetime of collecting roosters. So, if you know me, you know I love these little babies. Okay, so I'm just going to get my soft gel out. You can get your white glue, you can get your Mod Podge. If I can open this, I thought I had it open before we started. So I am just going to get in here and whoops. How did I have paint on there? Must have had paint on my brush. Oh well, that'll just give me some more texture on here. And I'm just going to put this all over this page. Using some water to help it spread a little bit easier. And like I said, this can be done by anybody. 
since we're all kind of sheltered in place right at the moment, we can do a craft project. And everybody will, will make it beautiful. <laughs> there's no way to mess this up, even though I am showing you a hundred ways to mess it up. So I'm just going to put this down gently and smooth it with my fingers. And I'm going to bring this part over and kind of overlap where I tore it. So see, you can fix those messes. And I'm a mess maker. You know that. And that's the fun part of art, is being able to make a mess. I'm just going to take some in my lid and put some water in there so it will kind of make it just a little thinner. And like I said, you can use Elmer's glue. If that's all you've got is school glue, that'll work. Any kind of white kind of glue that dries clear will work. And you could use a sponge brush if that's all you have out in the garage. Is a sponge brush or any kind of brush will do as well. You don't have to have artist brushes. So I am just covering this with my gel medium or glue, paste, whatever you've got on hand. You can do this. I know you've got some napkins. I know that. And I know you've got some glue somewhere in your house. Okay, I think we're good and stuck down everywhere we can be stuck down. Let me the thing you want to do with your mediums is definitely take a rag. This is a big tip. And before you close it, just wipe off that rim. And there, there you can hopefully open the jar better the second time. Because this has such um, glue properties that it will absolutely, absolutely glue the lid to the jar. All right, so once this dries, you can cut or tear the edges off. I, of course, you know me, I like to tear things, so let's just, and that glue has made it a little wet, so that just, look how easily that tears right off of there. Isn't that cool? You can do this. I promise you can do this. Young or old, male or female, you can do this and make a beautiful background in your journal. And I made a boo-boo right there, so I'm just going to show you how you can fix that. Let me get my little gel medium back out here. And I'm just going to put that flower right over there. See how that disappears into the background? Absolutely. So if you tear a spot or two, you can patch them. I promise. It patches just as easily. And put a little bit of text over there and look how cool that looks over top of the flowers. So again I'm going to clean my little lid off. So have fun with this today. This might be an addictive little thing. You can take some of your copier paper if you don't have a journal or a sketchbook to do this in. You can take some copy paper or some of the kids drawing paper. You can even do it on a piece of newspaper or you can do it on um, any kind of paper. You can do it on your junk mail or um, an old 
Christmas box, anything. You can just do this technique. So let me hold this up and show you. Look at this area over here where I put that little piece of text napkin over top of the flowers. And that is where I mended, where I tore a piece off. So see, this is doable by anybody. And I hope you have fun with this today. And these don't have to be hard. As I've told you, they do not have to be hard in any way, shape, or form. But it is beautiful. And this is a wonderful background for us for our book of notes. And I want you to get out there and journal the word today in your book of notes. And enjoy yourself. And may joy be with you all.